Well, earlier tonight, Mayor Keith James officially dedicated this year's Hometown Hero Award to all of the nurses here in our community. Saviors like Rebecca Washam. Take a look. And everybody else is good for now. Yeah. Okay. I can go home at night and say that I at least tried to make a difference in someone's life. If you've ever okay. stayed a night in the hospital, you know the nurses are your lifeline. She's like a big sister, a mother, an aunt, a doctor. She's just about everything. Janice Hamilton is talking about RN Rebecca Washam, who takes care of her during her cancer treatments at Good Samaritan Medical Center. She has the sweetest, the kindest, most compassionate uh, person that you could ever find. She just made me feel like I was at home, and she made me feel like I wasn't sick. With all the challenges COVID-19 brought, nurses played a critical role in fighting the virus on the front lines. As it went on, it got a little bit easier in that aspect, but still, you know, we got we got beat up pretty good this year. Rebecca was inducted into the Tenet Heroes Hall of Fame for her work in 2020. The challenges of being a nurse include being able to do your job and commit to caring for patients in their most vulnerable time. We've had a really challenging year this past year, but people like Rebecca showed up. They still gave 100 percent. They did it during a, a difficult time and they still showed us what it was like to have compassion and empathy for patients. Rebecca says she deals with the stress and burnout by continuing to find things to laugh about with her co-workers and remembering why she became a nurse. In this field we learn empathy because that could be you on the other side of that bed with the flip of a coin. That could be your mom. Um, so I think we just, you know, try to put yourself in that other person's shoes. Pretty incredible. Like many nurses, Washam goes far beyond medicine, too. She even brings in clothes for homeless patients and even arranges for their personal needs outside the hospital. She also chaired the 2020 Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night.